All right, so when you first register for Pandora, and this is really a good way of seeing how, um, how a system, you know, what basic information the system is storing about you. It's storing about you information that you type in there, and the first place that you type in information is when you register. So you can see from this screen that I type in an email, a password, a birth year, a zip code, um, a gender, and then whether I want to have them, um, uh, whether I want to have them send me stuff. And then I this click this checkbox here, um, uh, as usual, is just you know have you read our have you read our contract and do you basically agree to our contract? And of course, lots of stuff in that contract that we've talked about before, and we'll talk about again about privacy, about the reuse of your data, and nobody ever reads those contracts, including me. So I have no idea what Pandora is going to do with my data. Yet I use them anyway. Okay, so this is the screen, right? This is the user interface that you type in your registration information. And now let's look at this as an example of something else. So we've seen these di we've seen this diagram before, the diagram up here. Person is an information type. And from the screen, we can figure out, well, what kind of information do they store about person? They store an email and a password and a birth year and whether or not I want to send mail and my sex, right? I get that directly off of this screen. Now, as we saw before, a person also has a picture, right? And so they're getting my picture from Facebook, but they're not storing that information. A person also has a user ID, and so I probably could have put in here user ID, and that's something that's created by the system. Okay, so this is something we've seen before, and now we're using an example of a real application, Pandora, in order to work through this. Pandora has an information type called a person, and that person has these attributes. Now let's look at it from yet another angle, each attribute and what the allowed value, what the possible values are in there. Email should have this form, aaa at bbb.ccc. If you type in an email address and it doesn't meet that form, Pandora is going to say, that's not really a valid email address, please try again. Password, they probably have all sorts of restrictions for passwords. Let's just say right now that they want their passwords to be more than eight characters. Birth year has to be a four-digit number, 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 number. Um, send mail is a yes or no, and sex is male or female. So what I've done here is I've gone from the user interface of Pandora to a model of the information type uh, for person that Pandora is likely. Well, let me put it this way. Pandora is definitely doing this, right? Because otherwise, this information that you type over here would go nowhere. Pandora is definitely using this, but they're probably doing a lot of other stuff that we can't see as well. But that's okay. We're, we're, we're doing a simple model right now. So we have the user interface leading us to a model. This is the information model of the person information type with its attributes. And then this is information about the values of those attributes, what's allowed in the values of those attributes. And of course, now the person, Bob Boyko, is, a, um, is one item of the person information type on Pandora. Okay, so we can go further and we can start to explore not just the information they keep about me, but the information they keep about music, right, which is kind of what Pandora is all about.